One of the engineers who worked on the Apollo program was Margaret Hamilton, known for her pioneering work on the software development team. She worked hard to bring the guidance and navigation controls of the Apollo command module and lunar module to help us put astronauts on the moon. Margaret Hamilton is known best for coining the term of software engineering, which up until that point hadn't existed. While Hamilton would leave to start her own company and continue pioneering the field of software development, this was just the beginning of the innovation that Draper had in store. Draper continued its work with NASA for years, culminating in the digital fly-by-wire system, which changed the manual control system of an airplane to electronics. We also continued our work on all of the space shuttle programs, helping on the guidance and navigation for all 135 missions. This is Doc's office. The desk, the chair, and the things on the desk are all original to Doc. These are items that were on his desk or left in our possession when he passed. Some letters written to him, some letters written from him, and that's a caricature of Doc leaving the parking lot. And it's, I don't give a damn who you are, buddy. Parking is $17.50 a month. You know, the founder of the lab. So this is a gift in 1956. It is a replica statue. It stands uh, about the same height. It's actually a pretty good likeness. We have a photo of when he was gifted it and he's standing next to it. They both have martini glasses in their hands. It's very funny. And it has a secret bar inside. So this was gifted to us back for our 50th anniversary in 2023. One of the other gifts he was given was a box that you held while you stood. And if you leaned a little too far to either side, it would tell you things like, you're drunk, go home. This is his Apollo jacket. He made this himself. Um, he took one of his jackets and added the MIT patch and the Apollo patch and called it his Apollo jacket. So he wore it when they would go to the splashdown parties to celebrate Apollo. Interesting tidbit that a lot of people don't know, Doc Draper actually offered himself up as an astronaut. He wrote a letter to a former student of his who was leading the Apollo program and was like, I believe so heartily in our guidance and navigation, I volunteer myself to be an astronaut on the first Apollo missions. Um, at the time, he was 68, so probably not exactly what NASA was looking for in an astronaut. As he was a pilot, he had that experience, so in theory, he could have done it. Um, they did write back a very nice letter and basically were like, we're not sure what we're looking for just yet. He did eventually get to space. So the original letter that he wrote to NASA offering to be an astronaut was brought up on the last mission for the space shuttle on a U.S. rocket, brought up and brought back down. So a piece of dock did make it to space. 